right, uh, welcome back writers. Um, I have already shown you how to set up your writing portfolio on MU Commons. Uh, and I've also showed you how to create pages. And I hope that you have watched the um, support video on the difference between posts and pages. That's gonna be really important. We are, remember, are working with pages. So I've set up a whole bunch of pages for us. And then remember the ones that are most important for you for our class are your welcome or about page, your overview of your writing page and your travel and science writing pages, okay? Um, now I want to show you how to um, work with themes and um, present your um, web page to the public, okay? So um, remember that WordPress works according to themes, right? Um, and you will want to choose themes that foreground text, okay, as I mentioned in my first, I think I mentioned in my first video screencast. Um, if not, I'll just do it again here. Um, WordPress has a whole bunch of different themes, okay, that will uh, determine how your posts are displayed, how your pages are displayed, what's in the left uh, hand navigation column, what's in the right hand column, what's in your header, what's in your footer, all of the parts of the page, okay. Um, so if we take a look at this one, for instance, um, this is a three column theme with a custom header, okay? So you see column one over here, column two, which is the main column, and column three over here. And then you've got a header up here. Okay? Most themes will also have a footer down here, which you can't see um, on this one, okay? Um, if you take a look at all of these themes that are preloaded, um, you can get a sense that some of them are more directed towards visual um, portfolio sites like profile, showcase, structure, studio. Typically, these are the ones that don't have any text visible in them. Okay, you can learn a little bit more about that if you go, you know, to like the theme details portfolio. You can tell this looks very imagistic. Okay, so if you click theme. Right, um, it's for displaying artwork, okay? Um, it's at two columns, gives you a custom header, all these sorts of things, but it's made mostly for displaying artwork. So that means it's gonna have a harder time displaying text, okay? So you wanna go with a theme that has text visible in the um, little preview, okay? And I'm going to recommend that you start with one of these. If you wanna play around with themes, you start with 2011, 2012, 2010, okay, um, or possibly 2013, okay? You wanna work with these, okay? These are older default texts, uh, sorry, older default themes that come with WordPress, and they get updated, you know, every time there's a major update for WordPress, um, and that's why they're called 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. cetera, okay? Um, let's work with, um, let's work with 2011, okay? Um, I like the way this one looks. It's pretty clean and, and simple. Um, 2013 is also okay, but but this this is a good one. And this will just give you a little bit of a walkthrough of how to sort of negotiate the themes, okay? So I'm going to click activate. I wanna use this one, I'm gonna activate it. Now what this does is it um, activates this new theme and it puts it up here at the, the top left um, corner, okay? Um, I'm gonna go and visit my site and just sort of take a look at what I see here, okay. So now this is the theme that uh, we've just selected. Um, you know, notice that it looks different from the way it looked before. Okay, that's because I've added a new theme. You have your heading up here. You've got your site name. This is the tagline. It comes with a little search bar up here. It's got a whole bunch of these uh, navigation tabs and you'll notice that these are all your pages. Okay, mm -hmm. these are all the pages that we created in the last video. Okay. Here is your first post, okay? Um, if you are blogging, then this will make sense. We are gonna need to delete it and change a few things about how our site looks so that our readers engage it the way we want them to engage it, okay? There are a couple other things I want you to notice. This has a um, right-hand column and a main column. So this has, for the most part, two columns, at least in this iteration of it. We might be able to change that in our um, in our um, customization settings, okay? 
Um, but this is a pretty straightforward site, uh, pretty straightforward theme. It's really good for your first portfolio, okay? So I would strongly encourage you to use a theme like this. Okay? All right, so I wanna go back to my dashboard and this looks familiar to us, okay? I wanna go to appearance, okay? Um, we're not gonna be changing our theme anymore, okay? But I do want to um, add a few uh, customizations. Okay, so um, there are a couple things that you want to be aware of when you are uh, creating the look and feel of your portfolio site. And one, of course, is the theme. Um, and I like 2011, so we're going to keep with that. Um, but there are a few other things that are a little bit more complicated that, that I do uh, need to go over with you. So uh, one of the things that we need to do is make sure that the page is um, structured in the way we want, okay? So if we take a look at the writing portfolio site that we've just created, see how all of these pages are all like top level pages and they're in this navigation um, um, structure here, this menu, um, in a way that doesn't really give us any information, right? We need these two texts to be listed under either my writing or if you choose to add more pieces, right, of uh, more kinds of writing, they would be listed underneath creative nonfiction. So we need to nest a day in the life and the secret life of plants under my writing, okay? If you choose just to use this for, for these two pieces, okay? If you wanna add poetry then, or, or, or other critical writing or whatever, then you wanna add a page called creative nonfiction that will be nested under writing. And then we'll put a day in the life and the secret life of plants underneath creative nonfiction. But the point that I'm trying to make is that we need to nest these things. Otherwise, we're just going to get this giant long list right, of pages, which we don't want. Okay. Um, we also note that we've got a home page here and we've got a welcome page here. That's going to be a little problem. We've also got the sample page. So we have to do a lot of cleaning up here. Okay. The theme can only get us so far. The theme gives us the basic look and feel of the site, but we have to do the more... Um, a detail-oriented work of creating a navigation structure, okay? So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, if we go back to the dashboard, we wanna go to appearance and we wanna go to menus because that's where the navigation menus live, okay? So uh, we're here in the menu um, structure and notice that it gives you a default structure. This is the default menu, okay? Um, and it's just putting every single page that's created here, and it's putting it all in the same order, okay? There are a couple of things that I want you to notice about this interface. One, you can select things here to add to the menu, okay? Um, you can remove things, okay? Uh, and you can nest things by dragging and embedding and indenting, okay? So let's say um, you want to put these two things as sub items under creative nonfiction, which is one of the things you can do, okay? Um, this is how you do it, okay? Um, if you do not want uh, to have a creative nonfiction subheading and a poetry subheading and a critical writing subheading, if you only want to deal with your writing and these two pages, well, then clearly you're going to have to move these under my writing, and then we want to get rid of these other ones. We don't want them to appear in the menu. This is not to say that we don't want, that we want these pages to be deleted. We just don't want them to appear in the menu, okay? So there are a couple things that we can do. One, we can edit this default menu, okay, by adding or removing items. That's perfectly fine. Um, and we want to save any of our changes by clicking Create Menu. So now if I go back and look at my pa main page, right, I will have these two items nested underneath my writing. That's what should happen at any rate. I'm going to go visit the site. Okay, good. I've got my writing, and now I've got my two things nested here. Okay, do you see how that works? Okay. But again, we want to create a structure that's logical. Okay. So let's say I only want to do a web page that has 
it's just for just for our class it's not going to include anything else it's just going to include stuff for our class i am i don't need to have critical writing i don't need to have creative nonfiction. i don't need to have poetry i don't need to have any of these things um, just so that i have a bit of a better control over this i'm actually going to create a new menu okay i'm going to create a new menu and i'm going to call this um main nav menu okay I'm going to create it. All right. Now, what do I want to put on this menu? Okay. I need to put my welcome page right, on it. I'm going to need to put my writing splash page and I'm going to need to put a day in the life and the secret lives of plants here. Okay. Those are the, those are the required things for your um, portfolio. Okay? I'm going to add them to the menu. Now here they are. Now what I need to do is organize them. Okay? So I want to put the welcome page first. And I want to put the writing page, splash page, second. And then I want to indent these. Okay. I do not want to automatically add new top level pages to this menu. That's what the, the default menu does. Okay. But I do want to make this my primary menu. It's currently set to menu one, that default menu. I'm going to check this. Okay. And now I'm going to save the menu. Now, when I go back and look at my, my site, you'll notice that it looks much cleaner. I've got my welcome page and I've got my writing with my two pages underneath it, okay? This is what we're looking for, okay? So this is how you set up your menu to be uh, in line with what I'm looking for. Now, if you later down the road decide that you want to add um, a creative non, you want to add other kinds of writing, you want to add critical writing, you want to add poetry and so on, I'm going to add these here and then remember I can't really have just my writing okay what I may want to do is put these under creative nonfiction okay uh, maybe I want to put all of these underneath my writing and then I want to have sub pages like this and then let's say I add a, a page for each one of my poems or a page for each one of my research articles okay then I save the menu and I go back to my site and let me make sure that this is refreshed and I go to my writing, notice now I have these three bigger subcategories and my science writing and travel writing is available here under creative nonfiction. So it's a way of organizing your pages, okay? You do not need to have these other three things here. This is just in case you want to add them, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my menus and I'm gonna get rid of that other stuff. I don't need creative nonfiction. Um, but I am going to put these guides here. I don't need this, so I'm going to remove that. I don't need this, so I'm going to remove that. And I don't need this, so I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to save my menu, okay? Now, one of the other things you can do if you feel uh, a, a need, right? Um, you can add a page for your resume, okay? And you can copy, paste your resume here. Um, in whatever format you like, okay? And now if you go back to menus, what you can do is add your resume to the menu, and then you can put that under welcome, okay? And this is a useful basic site, right, for a personal professional portfolio, okay? And there we go. We've got your resume here, and you've got your writing samples here. So that is what I wanted to show you for this uh, version, so for this little video. Um, I'm going to stop it here, but um, next video I'm going to show you how to change the widgets and do a few other um, details.